We're back with another video about the best World of Warcraft private server in the universe. And their upcoming Wrath of the Lich King realm called Frostmourne. And the trailer that just came out. I was expecting to see a date in there. I guess they forgot to include it. And here it is, the official announcement about Frostmourne. A seasonal progressive Wrath of the Lich King realm by White Mane launches on Friday. March 29th, 2024, at 8 p.m. It is almost exactly two months away now. I was expecting a January, February launch, and I think that's actually later than Taudi's Legion launch, which is crazy. So we're first gonna be playing on Taudi's Legion, even before this. At least that's what it looks like. Any of those could still get postponed or whatever. If we didn't even get an official announcement on Taudi Legion yet. So we have features, racial shift, ancestral wisdom, auto learn spells, and more. Time walking, one of the old raids shall appear with enemy skill to your level, and loot adjusted to the power you are used to. Transmog on Wrath of the Lich King, hardcore mode, you die but you cannot go back to life, this is hardcore. You only have one life, after you die it's over, and it's all with times one experience rate. Community, over 162,000? Or is it 1 million? How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3. So over 162,000 registered accounts and over 30,000 active players on our Cataclysm realm, just as much as the number of our Discord members. Game Masters, our Game Masters are alive. They are human. They are logged into the game. They help you with your issues over Whisper, even in just a few minutes after creating a ticket. They spy on bots and ban them immediately. And lastly, Economy No Bots, Cross-Faction Auction House. We have solved real money trading by using Black Market, and we will do the same here. All the donations go towards Realm Development, Marketing, and Staff Salary. Racial Shift, that is pretty obvious, you can change the racials depending on what your race can play, which classes you can change to another race's racials. Quicker Leveling at an accelerated pace with a times 5 experience rate. But you also have the option to adjust the rate down to times 1 if you prefer. And in hardcore it's times 1. And there's gonna be also bonus weekend that boosts the XP rates even further. Ancestral Wisdom for every level 80 character on your account. Your experience gains and reputation gains are boosted by 15%. So for instance if you have 3 characters at level 80 you'll have plus 45% bonus to both XP and Reputation. There's gonna be new Legendary items. So not just Shadow, Morn and Valoneer. Legendaries for underperforming classes. These powerful artifacts from Atiesh to Gorhal offer unmatched might transforming your gameplay. Each tier unfolds unique Legendary items. PvP features, including solo queue in the 3v3 arena, Team ratings will be discontinued, instead we'll have personal rating, which is amazing. Arena teams will no longer exist. If you want to play PvP but don't want to level, you can do the Path of War game mode, which will offer you an instant level 80, but you will only be able to do PvP. Okay, so this was a question I had, is there gonna be a Path of War in Frostmourne? Here's the answer, it is. I wonder if it's gonna be there day one though, because in that case, what's the point in leveling for a person like me? Mm -hmm. I'd still wanna probably experience it though, so that I can uh, make a video about what leveling is like on Frostmourne uh, f with at least one character, but then having the option to instantly reach level 80, I'd probably make a ton of vaults and just play PvP for the most part. I wonder how you get legendaries. You'll probably be able to get them with those PvP vendors too. And finally, cross faction. You can still attack members of the opposing faction in contested zones, but you can also communicate with them, form groups, making them non attackable, and even join the same guilds, raids, and battlegrounds. I assume arenas as well, just like on their Maelstrom Cataclysm. This feature essentially doubles the potential player interactions, as Alliance members can now team up with the Horde. With the addition of cross-faction chat channels and shared auction house, the world feels more vibrant than ever before, for sure. I love to see cross-faction. I still want to have that uh, 1v1 arena. Please, here's the launch date and the timeline too. So, the launch date, as we mentioned, 29th March at 8pm. 
Then two weeks after, 12th April, we'll have Tier 7 and Season 5 for PvP. So we'll have two weeks to get ready for any competitive gameplay. Vault of Archivon and Time Walking Sunwell Plateau. And this last Tier 10 Season 8 opening will be on the 15th of December 2024. Ruby Sanctum will then launch on the 11th of January. So the entire Frostmourne will last for pretty much 10 months until it's over. I definitely intend on playing on Frostmourne actively, but as of right now I don't play World of Warcraft at all, literally zero. <laughs> so until then I might get back into some serious gaming again. I'd definitely like to see this one and Tauri's Legion. Both will be launching in March, it seems like. So March is going to be action-packed and I can't wait for it. These are definitely the two servers that I will really be following closely. And how they do because I think both of them have tremendous potential to be extremely successful. Thanks for watching the video and see you on White Main and Tauri in these upcoming months.